Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad. And let me show you what I got for you today. In my last video, I spent three bucks and I put together something very similar to this. Two porcelain tiles, two metal plates. And for this video, I thought I'd step it up a little bit. Let me show you how I made this. Here are all the materials I used for my bullet resistant panel. As you can see, I'm setting up the metal plates on the back with a little bit of caulk to get in the stick. And I'm going to put the two pieces of ceramic together, and that's going to be my front. So in the previous video, I alternated ceramic metal, ceramic metal. And I think what happened was the bullet punched through the ceramic, hit the metal, and then the metal punched through the ceramic, and the bullet kind of followed behind and punched through the back metal, if that makes sense. So for this test, we're going to put two pieces together so that bullet is hitting one piece of ceramic, then the next piece of ceramic, and then hopefully at the end it's going to get caught by those metal plates. This big plate weighs about seven pounds and it costs about actually seven or eight dollars to put together. And here are the rounds we're going to use today. Over here on the right is our 22 LR. This is the Winchester Hypervelocity 40 grain bullet. It's a hollow point. It's going about 1400 feet per second. Then we're going to test out the 9 millimeter one more time. 115 grain. Going about 1100 feet per second. And then I've got a 223 round. And this is just the 55 grain. It's going about 3200 feet per second. A pretty big step up from the 9 millimeter. And if we can survive that with our improvised bulletproof panel, bulletproof, we'll try out this green tip that has a steel core in it, 62 grains, it's going a little slower, probably about 3,000 feet per second. If I take my shots on this panel and the uh, rifle ammo just pops right through it, I'm going to go ahead and put this one right in the middle, tape it on there, and see if we can go through one, two ceramic plates and one, two metal plates, and then the uh, big uh, ballistic panel I made. First up is the 22. Next up, the 9mm. Wow, okay. Let me go reset. Finally, let's take a look at the 55 grain 223. Okie dokie. Let's go take a look. So I got a little surprise here. 22 got stopped. That's no surprise. Didn't even break the back layer of the clay. Or uh, ceramic, I'm sorry. 9mm, looks like it broke both layers. I'm gonna push that uh, metal plate out just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, nothing too crazy. And the uh, 223 actually got stopped. It did not go through. 
the ceramic broke it up enough that the uh, metal plates caught it. I expected to find a busted up piece of clay here and uh, there's no bullet hole, just some clay fragments, but I think it's because it fell over and landed on top of them. Maybe even a, some jacket there, I think that's a 9mm. Anyways, that's a surprise. I'm going to try one more um, round of the uh, 223, make sure that wasn't a fluke. Okay. 223, 55 grain, hopefully our technical difficulties are over. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this thing down range. All right, center punched it. Let's see what it looks like. All right, this is pretty exciting. My new improved armor, 223 round, right in the middle. And it didn't go through. It bulged that thing out real nice, but that metal caught it. And you can see the clay took a pretty good hit despite the uh, panel there, but uh, definitely didn't get hit with the bullet. Pretty darn cool. I'm excited about that. All right, let's try that green tip. I'm going to say it definitely goes through. So you know what? I'm going to tape the extra little plate on top, and then uh, we'll see how it does against uh, four layers of ceramic and three layers of metal. All right, everything's falling apart on me, but uh, we're going to keep on going. Green tip, 556, five, six. 62 grain. And we're going to go for the quadruple plates here. Here we go. One, two, three. A lot of dust. Let's see if it went through. All right, here's the guts. 22 hit somewhere in here. Didn't even mark the plate. Nine millimeter hit right here. And we um, got the smallest little dent back there, but nothing really to talk about much. Our first 223 round, 55 grain. Full metal jacket hit there. Got stopped by the metal. And then our second is right there and hold on one second all right here's what she looks like so two ceramic tiles and one piece of uh, metal stopped that full metal jacket 55 grain 223 pretty darn cool this is the green tip here, tiny little hole in, and it blew a nice little hole out of that. And I think that it hit right there. And that's a little dent, but again, this is a um, whole mess of uh, tile there that probably fell down behind there, so I don't think we can really infer much from that. But I think that I can say with certainty that if you stacked up two layers of the ceramic tile, threw some of this uh, electrical uh, blank cover metal behind it, and duct tape it all together, I think you could at least, well, you could withstand at least two hits from full metal jacket, um, two, two, three rounds, and that's that's pretty stellar. Has no problem stopping handgun fire. So I'm pretty excited about that. I didn't think uh, I didn't think I'd be able to do it. It apparently makes a big difference. Either this original stuff I got, this uh, white bathroom tile, was not actually ceramic. That might have just been porcelain looking at it. So I'm guessing that if you get the real ceramic stuff, you're going to be way better off than with this uh, porcelain stuff. Pretty darn cool. So, as always, thanks for watching, and 
We'll see you next time. I wanted to add a couple of thoughts here at the end about how I could have improved the plates. As we saw, when uh, the plates took a couple of shots, that ceramic crumbled, which I should have expected. And I think what could have helped there is uh, if I had duct taped each of the plates individually and then duct taped everything all together, I think we would have seen a lot better um, cohesion after a couple of shots. I really enjoy making these videos and I hope you're enjoying them too. If you have any comments, good or bad, please uh, let me know down below and um, I appreciate any likes you want to give or if you want to give a dislike, I understand. And if you enjoy seeing these videos and want to see some more, please think about subscribing. Thanks.